As we all know, Alzheimer's is a devastating and debilitating disorder affecting millions of patients around the world. Uh, the conventional methods of treating Alzheimer's and dementia involve medications, namely that work on neurotransmitters such as acetylcholine. By and large, the vast majority of these medications actually fail to help patients. Uh, there may be some slight, uh, sometimes marginal effects in reducing the uh, rate of decline. So uh, over the last two to three decades, there has been a tremendous amount of research done on alternative non-pharmacological neuromodulation techniques. You're about to hear uh, a 92-year-old's testimony regarding how she went from being suicidal but also experiencing cognitive deficits, including word-finding difficulties, difficulty with her activities of daily living, including dressing herself, to a whole new person within a span of a few sessions of applying a specific protocol for uh, changing the neural pathways and networks in the brain. You'll also hear from her husband, who is the first to observe the changes. And we wanted to encourage everyone out there to increase support and increase awareness of these types of neuromodulation strategies, which are far, far more helpful than the current medication profiles and uh, far less in terms of side effects, if any. So uh, please make your uh, doctors, your colleagues, researchers, academic centers more and more aware of these absolute amazing advances in the field of neuromodulation. So by the way, what is neuromodulation? Neuromodulation means we modulate or modify the activity of certain networks of the brain using tiny, tiny electromagnetic changes. And I wanted to say again that this type of treatment is painless. It does not lesion or burn through or cause any damage or injure any part of the scalp, muscle, tissue, or brain. It is using electromagnetic fields to produce tiny electrical shocks at targeted regions on their MRI navigation for the most part. So uh, I encourage everyone to learn more about this and become more aware as this can really change people's lives significantly. Thank you. I sort of gave up talking to people because I, I was speaking gibberish. With the inability to carry on a conversation with anybody because she would have, she would drop thoughts in the middle of her conversation. Mm -hmm. It was very hard for her to go to the next level. Talking about any given subject and within five to 10 words, uh, she couldn't continue the thought. She said, I can't, I can't think about it. Or I, you know, uh, I, she would just go, I, I, can't, I can't deal with it. I understand. And that was it. And it was a constant start and stop right. and the inability to finish any thought pattern or process. Right. Right. Pamela is 92 years old. So uh, as we get older, going from A to B is harder and harder and balance and equilibrium yeah. and yeah. just uh, staying upright yeah. and not falling yeah. is a really important part of it. We came here and it, it's, it has been a miracle. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's no two ways about it. Mm -hmm. I can speak normally and it's, and it's changed my attitude, my life and everything. I mean, it's, you're doing a wonderful, wonderful thing. We knew, both of us knew, within the first treatment that there was change, immediate change. It's like any, any injection that you give into your body, if it helps you, whatever the problem is, you know it almost immediately. And in this case, we knew from the first TMS treatment that there was progress, immediate progress. You could actually start to think longer than I can't think about it. And uh, within two treatments, she was on a roll. And when we finished 30 of them, uh, she came out about 90, 95% of what she was before. It's, it's been an amazing experience. It really has. The things that you, he's not talking about, but I'm talking about, he used to have to help me get my clothes on uh -huh. because I couldn't get them on myself. 
and now I'm having no trouble just zipping into my no. outfit. Would you recommend this to others? In your oh, we've already tried to do that with friends, and you know, they're such non-believers or they're scared, mm -hmm. and they they think that you know you're burning your head or something like right. that. And I have to say it's nothing. You know, it's like tick 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 tick, and that's you know, it's all and it's nothing. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's wonderful. I mean, yeah. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Yeah. Really think. And people are very scared about their heads. That's right. And the, and they don't and they they really are scared. And they say, does it hurt? You know, mm -hmm. and is it right. is it awful? So it doesn't. There is no pain That's whatsoever. Right. Mm -hmm. TMS is a game changer. Right. Absolutely. I was gonna, uh, Pamela was on some medications given typically for memory loss and dementia prior to the treatment. Is that right? That's correct. In comparison to those medicines, how much more effective was TMS? A hundred percent. Okay. Yeah. It, it Maybe a thousand percent. Okay. I'm, I'm underplaying it. Got it. It needs to be in every hospital. It needs to be in, in every community, and it needs uh, efficiency ramped up, not right. not uh, demoralized right. or anything. It's amazing. Nobody knows about it. I've been trying to convince them our local hospital, and we live in a community that's sixty percent over sixty-five. Mm -hmm. So if any hospital services should be effective. It would be TMS. Thank you, Sam. These messages are so valuable when patients and their loved ones are expressing it so strongly. When it's one thing for doctors and researchers to show the data and, and, and say these things, but it's a whole different level of, uh, of value when patients who have seen the changes personally themselves express these thoughts. So thank you for doing that. Pamela was just on the verge of hospitalization. Mm -hmm. I mean, or home treatment or institutional treatment rather than living at home and living a normal life. She may not be 100%, but she's bloody close to it. But I just want to say to my friends, you know, to say, oh my God, you sound like you used to sound. And that's a wonderful thing, you know, right. and I can go to a, a a party or something like that and yeah. I can be normal.